You call the moment when you realize you're a feminist the click. Mm -hmm. What was your click? My click was a moment uh, of a casting couch story, my casting couch story, which was a Me Too, but it sounds benign, but what I disco have discovered is that no sexual harassment or assault is ever benign, because when you're being treated as a sexual object, your humanity is being taken away from what you. What happened? So this cast director said, you have these two commercials, just come in and we'll talk about it. I had taken some still pictures with him. Uh, one time he said, just put your sweater off your shoulder. That, I did that. I was like, oh, okay. I felt a little creepy, but off the sh a little shoulder, fine. So he, he calls me in, come back. Um, good news. The directors want you for these two commercials. You got them. Don't I have to read for them? What, how is this possible? I was, had been waitressing for years. I couldn't believe this could be true. He said, yeah, the only, only thing you have to do is sleep with the directors to get them. And I was so shocked, Larry. I was so naive, maybe. But I said, well, how could you think that I would ever? He said, no, 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 you don't understand. This is the only way someone like you is going to make it in show business. And here are the women that have done it, who, who've made it to the top but by sleeping their way to the top. And he mentioned five actresses, very well-known actresses, who, from his, in his opinion, had slept their way to the top. And he said, this is a reality in show business, and you just have to face reality if you want to make it. This is what you have to do. You basically have to become a prostitute. So I left his office in a, in a rage, and I was, my heart was broken, because part of me thought, maybe he's right. Maybe all my training and my dreams and my ambition and my intelligence and my talent are meaningless unless I agree to prostitute myself. And it broke my heart, and I walked home. I could, I'm getting choked up just thinking about it. Did but you ever give any thought of maybe you'd do it? Never. Not a second? Not one second. I'd already become a feminist in my head in college. It was the second wave of feminism, thank God. But in this walk home from that casting director's house to my apartment in the village, 75 blocks, I became a feminist in my bones, in my marrow. And of course, I kept falling off the feminist wagon because we all, as women, growing up in this culture, you internalize misogyny. You think, I have less power than I do. I, I shouldn't speak up. I, I'm not going to be believed. But ultimately, it made me stronger. Watch new episodes of Larry King Now, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, on demand on Aura TV and Hulu.